many, many, if not most people, have about 2% Neanderthal DNA in them on average. And we could stop the story there and say, all right, that's fascinating. But what that really means is that one of our great, great, great grandparents going back interbred and had sex with a Neanderthal. And we know today, and we know this from ethnographic studies and anthropological studies, how much people can sometimes ostracize outsiders. I'm mixed heritage, right? So I, I, am, I am Arab, but I'm obviously British as well, right? Um, that can be complicated sometimes, especially when you're young. So what was it like if you were two different species? What would the mother of that child have felt? Would she have been really nervous? Um, would people have ostracized the child? Would she have been sitting there wishing that the child didn't look Neanderthal and just looked homo sapiens so that they didn't get bullied. We have no idea. But they were human. So we should be asking the question. I think it makes it more relevant to us because suddenly you're forced to see them as not just a data point and a statistic. You see them as, as human.